Hi you guys! In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the how to do the acetate transfer technique with an edible printer or a printer that has edible ink in it. I'm going to show you this Paris script background I put on this cake. I am using acetate paper. Okay, This is what you need for this technique. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it all sorts of places. And um, it's actually really really easy. You just have to have a good printer with edible good edible ink in it um, and these acetate transfer sheets. You all also have to um, set up your picture so it's the size you want it to be and then for this particular background you need to create a mirror image of your picture okay because it's script so we want to print it out so that when we actually um, transfer it onto the cake it will read the right way and actually on cake heads I have details in another video showing you how to fix your pictures to get them the way you want them if you need help with that I upload my photos to a Google Drive document and do all I need to do there with the photo and create the mirror image as well there okay so then you're going to put your acetate paper into your printer and you're going to print on the acetate paper like you would normal paper you don't have to change any settings or anything you just use this acetate as your paper you can cut it down if you want here I didn't cut it down at all I just printed out my image onto this acetate sheet and you saw how I attached it to the cake I've got a fondant covered cake here I started by um, lining up the bottom with the bottom of the cake and then starting in the middle and I'm going to show you this again so don't worry starting in the middle and then smoothing out from the middle out to the outer edges because the problem is if you don't you may run into some issues with the paper lining up the way you want it to so it's best to kind of start pushing against the cake in the middle and smoothing out now obviously remember your ink needs to be on the back side of this acetate touching the cake right so don't don't flip it around or you're gonna get lots of ink on your finger and none on your cake so this particular image I have on the project tutorial if you click on the link below um, to bring you to the cake heads website um, I will have this down in the image section of the project tutorial and this particular image had some faded sections and had some darker sections so um, I needed a I needed it to have more sections that were darker right so you can see where my faded is on the bottom well I wanted I'm doing the bottom tier now here again showing you I'm starting by touching the paper to the middle and then smoothing out to the sides so that um, it's just easier to keep your paper lined up the way you want it to be and in this case we want it to be nice and lined up because our script is you know kind of written on lines we don't want it to be crooked but getting back to what I was saying a minute ago um, the bottom of this particular image is faded out a little bit more and I thought at first that would work for me but I decided with the whole design of this cake I needed a little bit more script to be darker on the bottom so I did this first First round and then I went back and I printed out the image again and I cut down my acetate a little bit um, and put it into the printer and then I'm just kind of you know moving my acetate where I want it to go over my first image to get a little bit more print um, a little darker than where it was faded and it works with this particular case because it doesn't have to be perfect right it can it can be a little mishmash together that's the idea it being the background um, so you see I did the left side of that acetate on the right side of the cake there and then I um, just kind of pushed the other side of it onto the left side of the cake you know basically the idea is it doesn't have to be perfect I did that with the bottom as well I just added more where I felt like it needed it and it worked super simple super easy I use this, this technique all of the time now buying an edible a printer a regular printer with edible ink that I only use for cakes was the very one of the very best investments I have made so far because you can just do so much with it and this acetate transfer method which I saw somebody else do somewhere along the line is really such a great way to get intricate prints onto cake easily. You can also do it on buttercream on Cake Heads website. For members I have a lion tutorial where I show you how to get your image onto buttercream and then kind of cover over it with um, more buttercream. So lots of things you can do with this. Highly recommend an edible printer. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to see this full red umbrella cake tutorial it's over on the Cake Heads website. For members come join our family over there. We have tons of fun together and uh, love learning the art of cake. Alright guys see you later.